What's up everybody? This is Craig Howard at the Happy Camper RV Superstore. Today we're going to look at a brand new model. This is an Ibex RV suite. The model is RVS1. This is a super awesome destination style trailer. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna hold my camera and I've got the spec sheet right here. This thing is so new, I just don't even know it very well. Let me give you a couple of specs. Hitch weight, 900 pounds. Gross, so fully loaded, somewhere around 9,700 pounds. 7,100 pounds dry. Sorry, there's a motorcycle driving by. 32 feet, six inches total length. 11 foot three high. Eight foot five inches wide. 93 gallon fresh, 60 gallon gray, 30 black big 18 foot awning these things are awesome they've got a new patent pending roof on it it's called a single slope it's pretty cool the squared frameless windows those things look super sharp and about a million features in here check out that cool little deck on the back the hitch fire grill that comes with it there's that big awning we were talking about. This thing is super awesome. What do you think so far? I love this thing. What do you see inside? Let's walk around one more time. I'll show you a few features on the outside. Got a power tongue jack up front there. Check out this awesome box right here. So let me, let me state too, this thing is propane free. This is designed, you can see we've got it plugged in right here. Destination trailers aren't designed to be going on the road, traveling every week. These are designed if you've got some property at a beautiful place or wherever you've got some land, place to park it. Maybe you take it up in the spring, use it all season long, bring it home in the winter, or maybe it stays, stays put year round but it's kind of designed to go somewhere and stay there. So zero propane, all electric. Show you some of those features inside that make that possible. But the storage box is super cool. This is for the hitch fire right here. Um, batteries would go in there. Cool outdoor shower right there. Really nice, I like this box a lot. You can kind of see the slope of that roof right here. It's a really cool design. DSI electric water heater there. Some of your water connections. Set up for the Lippert on the go ladder. Let me show you the hitch fire. This is cool. So this thing moves all around. You can position it wherever you want. Really nice barbecue see some people offer these with campers and sometimes you get cheap options but not right here that's a that's a really nice setup check this out this is cool so this gate is held closed magnetically you just kind of firmly push it it's got two really nice magnets on there we'll show you more of this deck coming from the inside but it's pretty awesome it's got some tie down straps on there they may not continue that in the future This is only rated for, it was like 300 pounds, so not intended for a ton of cargo, more like hanging out. But you've got tie down straps on this one, or points to tie down. I think it's time to go inside, let's check it out. Okay, welcome into the Ibex RVS1. It's a little dark in here, let's fix that. Hey, Power Pro. I'm home. Welcome back. Pretty cool, huh? Got voice control lights in this unit. Let me give you a little overview of the interior and then we'll dive into all the details. So as we come in, we've got a cool kitchenette here. Awesome retro styling. What do you think of that fridge? That thing is so cool. Cool little L-shaped chase right here. 
This bathroom is amazing. This is like bigger than the bathrooms in our big 45 foot fifth wheels. Pretty awesome. Really cool shower head in this. Back here, this is kind of an office area, dining table, and a bedroom. There's a Murphy bed behind that, and I'll show you that in a minute. It's really cool having that options and flexibilities that you have. I've got all the shades drawn. It makes for a little bit better video, but let's open these up for a sec. So right off the back, we've got that awesome deck. This is so cool. I wish I had a great piece of property with a nice view to park this on. Can you imagine barbecuing back here, having your lawn chair set up with a nice view out there? Be awesome. Hang this back up one moment. All right, you wanna dive into everything? Let's do it. So right as you walk in the door, we've got a TV, obviously. All of our controls, the voice activation is super cool. Hey, Power Pro, lights off. All of the lights are turned off. Hey, Power Pro, lights on. All of the lights are turned on. Isn't that cool? Heated holding tanks, all your controls right there for that. Some nice storage cubbies, fireplace. So remember, this is all electric, so we don't have a regular furnace. That fireplace contributes to the heat. And then here in the bathroom, got this cool electric heater right there. And also one back here in the back. Again, this isn't designed to be traveling every weekend, boondock camping. This is more like if you have a place to leave it semi-permanently where you've got hookups. So because of that design, they decided to go propane free. All right, I can't wait to show you this. This thing is cool. So the retro styling, brand new guts inside though. Look how big that is. And then this is awesome too. The drawers here, there's still packaging on those from shipping. Not, they don't pull out super easy. There's some foam on there, but boy, what a nice way to stay organized, don't you think? That is super cool. Great storage shelf up there. And it's not mounted crooked. They actually use this cool live edge design. It just looks nice. Nice LED lights underneath. And a huge window behind that. Again, just pulled closed for the video. Hopefully you've got an awesome view and you can look right out there. Induction cooktop. That's super cool. And then this awesome convection microwave oven right here. Very, very high quality. Okay, before I get any further, let me show you this. This is awesome. So this is convertible. Right here, there's a nice storage space. You can put all kinds of things in there, or you can put this. And I'm just doing this one-handed again, so pardon that being a little awkward. That stores right in there, just like that. Then this guy, folds down flat and slides right in. So if it's just you, if you're solo watching a movie, there might be plenty of space right there. You might fall asleep for the night. Maybe somebody's camping with you. You can put that out and have plenty of space for more than one person. 
I like that. All right, let's get back to our kitchen here. Great storage underneath the sink. A really beautiful restaurant style faucet here. Rotates all the way out of the way though if you want all the counter space. And this nice insert in the sink helps you do that. Check out that sink underneath. This is solid by the way. That thing is heavy. Metal sink in there, real high quality. I love it. More storage right here. And then right below that, we've got a central vac. This is cool. So there's a hose that will plug in right here. Or if you want to sweep this nice floor, you can sweep all of that just right to this spot, just kind of like in shop class. Lift that up. Suck up all your sweepings right there. Pretty cool. Let's check out the office bedroom. Pretty spacious when we're set up like this. There's that other heater right there. And let me turn it on so you can see it's pretty quiet. So that's running on high right there. You can barely hear it. And it's getting warm in here fast. We'll look in some of these cupboards here. Here's the hose for that central vac. This thing is awesome. Klipsch Bluetooth speaker, highest quality right there. That's cool. I want one of those to put on my desk. Tons of power outlets. You'll see even more as we go along. Got the water pump behind that false wall. Over here we've got some hanging storage. More power. Pretty good, huh? All right, I'm gonna move these chairs one-handed and we'll put the Murphy bed down. And this makes for a little bit of a shaky video. I'm sorry about that. But I kind of like doing this so you can see just how easy this is to operate. All right. So this table here, there's a support leg that you'd normally put down. I just didn't put it down because we're being fast here. Got a release on that side. Just the same on this side. And that drops down. You can see that beautiful live edge on there. Secures in place right here. Just like that. So that's all put away if you wanted to use this for storage space. There's plenty of that. Then, supports for the bed. Just that easy. And this is the lock lever right here. I'm gonna go like this and just pull right here. Sorry about that angle for a second. Um, this is pretty light though. It's got supports built into it. And now you've got your bed. Really nice mattress they give you with this. Incredibly nice. Um, there's the tag for it. Heartland mattress. Yeah, this thing's cool. And then when you pulled that down, you can see you've got a nice finished headboard right here. Big window behind the bed, blackout shades, and these cool cubbies. More power. Nice dragonfly throw pillows come with it. And you've got more power in that cubby as well. Perfect for a CPAP machine, charging your phone, putting your book there at night, and your glasses, wallet, keys, that kind of stuff. Great storage. All right, let's put it back up. You can see just how easy that is too.
and of course this is much easier when you don't have something in your other hand okay i'm gonna be awkward here for just a sec because i've got to pull the release lever and lift at the same time so just one moment and just like that raises right back up pull the release one more time and it locks in place these release with just that little push right there and just like this we're almost set up again all one-handed too box popped open there. Uh, I'll show you that. Mostly 110 breakers. There's a few 12 volt fuses in there. More 110 breakers than normal just by the nature of this one. Being more of a permanent kind of unit. Just like that we've got the dining, office, whatever you want to use this space for set back up real easy all right let's check out this awesome bath so the double basins are awesome aren't they i mean this looks like you're in a high-end home on an rv check out that beautiful fixture up there the led lights are super cool This has an inverter on it also, by the way. That's the control switch for that. What do you think of these colors, the gold poles on these? The green out here, that retro fridge, the brown on the couch. I think it all looks really nice. Very nice toilet here. It's porcelain. Great storage right behind the shower, maybe for your linens. and an awesome shower. Isn't that cool? All right, we've got one more surprise behind this door. Combo washer and dryer. Isn't that awesome? and tons of space in here too. To remove those shelves, use that for hanging space if you wanted. Didn't even turn on all the lights. These are nice. All right, how about one more look at the outside before we sign off? Hey, Power Pro, lights off. Hey, Power Pro. Lights off. All of the lights are turned off. That's so cool. All right, let's look at the outside one more time. Once again, a recap for you. This is a 2024 Ibex RVS1 destination trailer, all electric, no propane. Highest quality construction, super cool styling, really innovative floor plan. Love this deck back here. 
It's a beautiful day here in Idaho. All right, my friends, we're at Happy Camper RV 208-466-6250. We've got one of these right now. They're selling fast. Call us ASAP. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.